Welcome to Just Zap It. In this tutorial video, we gonna learn the field symbols and data references. Field symbols and data references consists of 15 subcategories. Field symbols are placeholders or symbolic names for other fields. They do not physically reserve space for a field, but points to its contents. A field symbol can point to any data object. The data object to which a field symbol points is assigned to it after it has been declared in the program. There are two types of data references, known data references and unknown data references. Known data references, when we know clearly what data type we need to create in runtime, then we go for known data references. Unknown data references, when we don't know what data type that we need to create in runtime, then we go for unknown data references. Moving towards the first category, is full type specification, if you have full types specified, the technical attributes of the field symbols are determined. The technical attributes of the assigned data objects must match those of the field symbol. When you use a field symbol that is fully typed, you can address its attributes statically in the program, since they are recognized in the source code. If you fully specify the type of a field symbol as a reference or structured data object, you can address it as you would the data object itself once you have assigned an object to it. The second category is, forcing structures. In forcing structures, field symbols are placeholders or symbolic names for other fields. They do not physically reserve space for a field, but point to its contents. A field symbol can point to any data object. The data object to which a field symbol points is assigned to it after it has been declared in the program. The third category is, Static Assign If field symbols are set using Assign, permission to access the assigned data object is only checked at the position of the statement. The field symbol can then be passed on as required and used to access the assigned data object in any position. The fourth and fifth categories are, Assign with Offset 1 and 2. If you already know the name of the field that you want to assign to the field symbol when you write a program, use the static assign statement, assign.j to fs. In a static assign statement, you can use positive offset and length specifications to assign a subfield to a field symbol. If you do not know the name of the field that you want to assign to the field symbol when you write a program, you can use a dynamic assign statement, assign.j to fs. The sixth category is, Dynamic Assign 1. One entry is stored after another. When dynamic tables they're actually referring to a structure whose data elements has been created at runtime. A developer creates the structure and allocates a table. A table in ABAP takes on the structure of whatever data type has been assigned to it. The seventh category is, Dynamic Assign 2. Dynamic programming is the use of special programming constructs that enable you to use selected features of data and slash or operations at runtime that cannot, for various reasons, be determined at compile time. The eighth category is, assigning field symbols. Before you can work with a field symbol, you must assign a data object to it. If you attach a structure to a field symbol, you assign a data object to it in the declaration. Untyped field symbols point to the built-in data object space once the program starts. Space has type C and length 1. Type field symbols do not point to any field before a data object is assigned to them. The ninth category is, assigning a structure by component. To assign one of its components comp to the field symbol fs. You can specify the component as a literal or a variable. If comp is of type C or a structure which has no internal tables as components, it specifies the name of the component. If comp has any other elementary data type, it is converted to type I and specifies the number of the component. The 10th and 11th categories are Casting with field symbol type and casting with explicit type, using the casting addition of the assigned statement, the field sydatum can be treated as a structure. 
Without the casting addition assigning would not be possible, because SWADATAM is not compatible with the type of the field symbol. In the first part of the main method, an implicit casting is carried out. The field symbol FS is completely typed with the local program type T underscore date. In the second part of the main method, an implicit casting is carried out. The field symbol FS2 is completely generic. Using the casting addition of the assigned statement, a cast is carried out for the field SYDATUM of the local program type T underscore date. The twelfth category is, casting using predefined data types, the predefined data types describe data objects of variable. Further character like data types with special properties are the predefined date. Expressions with the operators new and cast can be positioned directly. The thirteenth category is, casting decimal places. The two. Fields of type C and D all have two decimal places. The field symbols FS are given one or four decimal places. The numeric values are different for the field symbols and the fields assigned to them. The 14th category is, data areas for field symbols. Oh, you can only assign data objects from the data areas of the ABAP program to a field symbol. When you assign a data object to a field symbol, the system checks at runtime to ensure that no data is lost due to the field symbol addressing memory outside the data area. The data areas of an ABAP program are The table memory area for internal tables The size of this storage area depends on the number of table lines. This is not a fixed value, it is determined dynamically at runtime. The data storage area for other data objects the size of this storage area is fixed during the data declaration. Field symbols cannot point to addresses outside these areas. If you assign data objects to a field symbol and point to addresses outside these areas, a runtime error occurs. The last category is, data references. Data references can point to any data objects or to their parts, components, rows of internal tables, or sections specified by offsets and lengths. The static type of their reference variables is either the built-in generic type data or any non-generic data type. Data reference variables can be used with the instance operator new to create data objects statically and in the statement create data, to create data objects dynamically. The statement get reference and the reference operator ref can be used to write references to existing data objects in data reference variables. When internal tables are processed, most statements have the addition reference into, to set references to table rows. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.